From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Guilford, where a woman was found dead in a condo complex, and police are calling it a homicide. The victim has been identified as 42-year-old Lindsay Hopkins. An autopsy revealed she died from blunt force trauma to the head. A caller asked police to come to the unit to check on someone Thursday morning. Police say Hopkins was dead when they arrived. We'll have much more for you on this story as it comes into newsroom on the Channel 3 app. And now to news out of Hartford, where businesses downtown are happy to hear employees from one of the city's biggest companies is heading back to the office. On September 13, travelers' employees are going back to the office on a broader scale. They're keeping a hybrid model for some who will work from home on certain days. So for the downtown area, this means more money coming into local shops like clothing stores and restaurants. Uh, there's no question that having our office buildings empty has left a big hole for going on 18 months now. And the city for a long time felt hollow and empty. So we can't wait. Mayor Luke Bronin said from recent conversations with other big corporations, the capital city could soon be welcoming back many other workers. And we take you to Canton tonight, where a new restaurant is planned for the property where the closed La Trattoria is on Route 44. The existing building will be completely torn down. It's being taken over by the owner of the Fuji restaurant in Torrington. La Trattoria closed in 2018 after being open for almost 50 years. I'm meteorologist Melissa Cole with a look at your channel for your early warning forecast. We have a pretty nice Saturday shaping up. We'll take a look at future cast and show you what's going on. Uh, tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon, we have mostly sunny skies. Temperatures will be in the low 80s. But then as we head towards Sunday, we will see the clouds increase and also a period of rain possible. But tonight looks good. We're going to see any showers and storms diminish and we'll see uh, partly cloudy skies during the overnight hours with temperatures in the 50s and low 60s. A nice night to keep the windows open tomorrow. Temperatures in the low 80s with mostly sunny skies. Enjoy it. Then as we head towards Sunday, as I mentioned, clouds increase. Showers in the morning, perhaps into the afternoon. Even some late day thunderstorms possible. Monday and Tuesday, hot and humid.